YouTube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Christmas is over. The new year has begun. What's next, you may ask? Well, it is Valentine's. Valentine's is coming up next month and here's the thing. I've personally never liked Valentine's Day. I've always thought it was dumb. It was boring. There was pink everywhere. I hated pink. Not to mention my birthday is on February 19th, so it's really close to Valentine's Day. So I've gotten a lot of like Valentine's birthday things like I had a Valentine's birthday party and I have, you know, birthday parties where they give me things in Valentine's bags and it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't like Valentine's Day. It's boring to me. So this year I decided that I was going to change that. I was going to make Valentine's Day something that I enjoyed and make it something spectacular and make it something awesome. So this is my announcement video for Valentine's. See, oh la la. you may think I said Valentine's, but I said val lit times because it's gonna be lit and it's gonna be about literature. Yeah. Valentine's is a booktube celebration for the entire month of February. It's a celebration of our love of reading, our love of a reading community, our love for booktube in general. So I have several things that are going to go on during this month and I'm really excited about every single one of them. First of all, I'm going to be celebrating this Valentine's with two special booktubers that are very close to my heart. One is Sarah from Novel Serendipity. The other is Leah from Where in the World is Leah Jane. They are two amazing booktubers who I I talk to daily and love very very much. However, we are looking for a couple more booktubers to join in on the fun. So if you are interested in co-hosting this event, after you've watched the whole video, after you know what's going on, there's going to be a link to a survey down in the description that you can kind of fill out if you're interested and we'll get in touch with a couple of people depending on um, you know your interest level, why you're interested, um, and it may just be a random selection, it may not be. It kind of depends on the amount of interest shown in this, however many we're going to choose um, or how we're going to choose them. Now, let's get to the exciting elements of this Valentine celebration. Number one is something called Bookish Cupid. Now, think Secret Santa, but not. Bookish Cupid is where you send somebody your favorite book. You can send them a letter along with it. You can send them some other goodies if you so choose. But the bottom line is you're sending someone your favorite book and you're trying to share the love of your favorite book. And of course you'll receive someone else's favorite book in return. Whether or not you want to keep it secret who you had for Bookish Cupid is up to you. And I'm going to be putting a link in the description if you would be interested in participating in Bookish Cupid. Please only fill out that survey if you are genuinely interested. If you can send a book and you intend to do that. I don't want some people not receiving books when they've signed up for this and they have you know, done their half of things. So please have your survey in by January 27th. That way we can pair everyone up before February. The next part of Valentine's is Buddy Read Roulette. I have always wanted to really do a buddy read with someone. I've done some like read-a-thons and read-alongs, but I have never done a buddy read with one other person. Just one person that I'm kind of dedicating this experience to and things like that. Buddy Read Roulette, however, is going to be sort of a random pairing as well. There's a plane outside and I don't want to listen to it. Boo -doo 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 -doo. To participate in the Buddy Read Roulette, you'll fill out the survey, which will also be in the description. All these links will be in the description. On that survey, you'll talk about the genres that you do and you don't enjoy. But basically, we will randomly assign you to a buddy to buddy read with. And this will be very random, but also somewhat based on your interests. And then together, the two of you will decide on a book that you're both interested in reading. And then you will read it and buddy read for the month of... February. And just like Bookish Cupid, the survey is below. Please only fill out the survey if you are genuinely interested in doing it. And please have those surveys in by the 27th of January. And in case we end up with an odd number on the Buddy Read Roulette, there may be a group of three in there. But for the most part, they will all be groups of two. Pairings of two. The next part of Valentine's, part number three, is the Valentine's Bingo card. So this card I worked so hard on. So I really hope you like it as much as we enjoyed making it. I'm going to put the card up on the side over here so that way that you can sort of follow along with it as I discuss it. So um, I'm going to start in the top left and just go row by row. 
On this Valentine's bingo card, there are two types of squares. There are the white squares that are reading challenges, and then the red squares that are sort of experiential challenges, things to do. Now with the reading challenges, there are a lot of them, and if you don't believe that you can read that many books in February, you can totally combine things. These are made so that they are easy to combine with um, each other and with readathons that may be going on in February. Space number one is cold shower. This is read a book that is rumored to have a steamy scene in it. Space two is love song. This is write a love song or a poem either inspired by a book or dedicated to a book or something bookish. The roses are red. This is read a book with red on the cover. This can be completely red. This can have a little red accent. Just something red. The next one is Beautiful on the Shelf. This is a book that has an absolute gorgeous cover. It could be a cover buy or it could just be one that coincidentally had a great cover and you're really trying to convince yourself that you didn't buy it for the cover but you totally did. I'm projecting a little bit here. Framing the Fave. This is to set your book up in a nice setting or um, in a nice background and take a nice picture of it. You can post this on Instagram, you can post this on Twitter, you can insert it into a video, you can do all three, whatever you want. You can do a Polaroid, hang it on your wall. Paint it on your kid's face. Next one is The Gift That Keeps Giving. So this is read a book that was given to you as a gift. Then we have Heartwarming. So Heartwarming is read a book that makes you feel warm inside. This could be a book that you've read before and that you're going to reread because you enjoyed it so much. This could be a book that seems to have content that you feel will be heartwarming. This could even be a book that someone has recommended to you that would be heartwarming. The next one is Forgotten Love. This is read a book that you DNF'd at some point in your life. Finish that sucker. Then we have Black History Month. Read a book written by a black author. Next we have Puppy Love. Read a middle grade book. Living Single. Read a standalone. Together Forever. This is complete a buddy read during the month of February. This can be involved in your buddy read roulette or this can be a buddy read that you set up on your own. It doesn't matter as long as you're doing a buddy read. The next is the middle space and it's our free space and it use the hashtag Valentine's on social media and it is V-A-L-I-T-I-N-E-S. You can do this on YouTube, anywhere in your description or in your title of your video. You can do this on Twitter, on Instagram, even on Facebook if you really want. It's up to you. Next is By Any Other Name. This is read a banned book. Then we have To the Ends of the Earth. Read a book that has been translated. Next, read cozy. Read a book while wearing your favorite pajamas, your favorite outfit, or cuddling your favorite blanket, stuffed animal, whatever you want. Read cozy. Five stars. Read a book that someone you know has rated five stars. This could be a booktuber, a book reviewer, or a normal everyday person that has good reads. Someone that you know or someone that you love or someone that you despise. It doesn't matter. Where you go, I go. Take a book wherever you go during the day. I know this isn't a hard one for some of us, but take a book with you everywhere you go during a day and try to read in different places. More to love. Read a book that is over 400 pages. Bubble bath. Read a book in a bubble bath. Happily ever after. Read a retelling. Hot date. Read a book by candlelight. Please don't burn your house down. So many books would perish. Skinny Love, read a book that is under 200 pages. Sharing is Caring. Now this is a really interesting challenge here. Sharing is Caring is basically you go and take a look at other readathons happening in the month of February and I want you to complete a challenge for one of those readathons. And then our last one is Library Lovers Month. So February is Library Lovers Month and this challenge is to read a library book. And of course the image file for the bingo card will also be pasted down below. Be sure to follow Valentine's on Twitter. I will post a link to that. So below there will be links to Sarah and Leah's channel as well as links to the surveys for the Bookish Cupid, the Buddy Read Roulette, the image card for the Valentine's bingo go and of course the survey for if you would be interested in joining us and hosting this fun month-long reading bookish love celebration along with everything we've mentioned there will be reading sprints on our twitter again linked below and if you have any questions at all about valentine's feel free to ask them below and i will try to answer them to my best ability um, make sure you check out sarah and leah's announcement videos as well and if you would like more of this junk subscribe below bye Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night I feel the soldiers coming, I'm done pulling up a fight